Mob, 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 what it do, bro? Ski! Hey, boy, that sweater right there hard. I took a picture of that to remind myself to come back and grab that. But, yep, as you can see, we was in Hibbit Sports today. Picking up the brand new Air Jordan 3 Retro. In a black cement colorway. And I got the 2018 out today so we could do a comparison you know what i'm saying let's take a quick look at the 2018s because i understand now and i'm so glad i took care of my pair y'all can see they basically uh vnds very near dead stock you know what i'm saying 10 out of 10 on the condition with my 2018s been taking really good care of those and we stepped out and reimagined white cement threes today but you know what i'm saying i understand it now <laughs> salute to the lethal shooter bro i understand it now i've been seeing a lot on twitter youtube instagram all over social media mixed opinions about this 2024 release but i mean i couldn't help but to see numbers going up on the 2018s and a lot of sneakerheads praising the 2018s over the uh 20 24s 24s let's call them the 24s you know what i'm saying 18s 24s let's do it like that boom so yeah i understand it bro i understand it i <laughs> i understand it and i get it hey you got another pack on the way boy they're dropping another one off for your boy FedEx caught him live in action dropping one off for your boy man um and the shooter they dropped off is in this video i'm gonna let y'all guess i'm gonna let y'all guess what shoe it is inside of the box but it was already shown in this video already i had to have it bro it's fire subscribe right now man yeah because we're gonna bust them down get them on feet and all of that but yeah back to it i understand that bro we are now looking at the 24s and um they are not bad they're not bad it's a couple things that i do like and there's a couple things that i don't let's start with the outsole classic Classic Air Jordan 3 out, so can't go wrong with that. Classic Nike Air on the back. You know what I mean? Hey, might as well throw these in the trash if you ain't got the Nike Air on the back. The Countdown Pack Joint Man, Jump Man Joints, they cool, they cool, they cool, they're nice. Amazing craftsmanship and all that, but yeah, boy. As far as black cement threes go, I like Nike Air on the back. Those Widows Peaks, ugh, I don't like. The materials. The material's not bad. Um, the finish on the materials, where where the upper's a little bit duller, not as shiny as the 18s and all of that. You know, we'll get into it. We'll get into it. Outsole for outsole. Hey, about the same thing. The only difference is, um, I got a size 10 and a half with the 24s and the the 20s. No, the 18s are a size 10. So, yeah, that's the difference there. But looking at it, you can see the finish and the materials on the uppers. Definitely different. The elephant print. The elephant print. It's a lighter gray. And the the the, the black, the, the you know what I'm saying? The actual print that engraved and then it darker spot is lighter too. And I kind of me personally i kind of favor the 18s when it comes to elephant print now when it comes to back tabs the back tab on the 18s is bigger same material both both pretty rough both pretty rough but materials are the same but the 18 is bigger i like the bigger nike on the back at nike air on the back that's the win there as far as the leather on the uppers black leather on the uppers it seemed like the 24s are softer 
Definitely. But it seemed like the 18s got a thicker cut. With the mud guard, you got a matte finish. The mud guard is a little bit more shinier and softer on the 24s. So, I mean, if we talking about materials, it seemed like the 18s are heavier and thicker cuts of leather, just heavier materials in general. In general, and I would say that the 24s are softer. Now look at the tongue. You see how you you can see the red popping out on the tongue on the 18s. With the uh, 24s, you don't see that red behind the tongue. It's all gray. Like you got to get behind the tongue to see the red. You know what I'm saying? Red insole, black Nike Air. That's gonna go on both. So you know what I'm saying? A hey, use that old bullet RC pro tip. Put the tape down in there, man. Salute the bull. I got. I actually got that from him. <clears throat> that gray on the collars. Okay. Materials. Same thing. It seemed like. 18 is a tad bit tougher and it's lower. That 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 gray is is higher, but it's skinnier. You know what I'm saying? It's less padded. I feel like the 18s got more padding, and therefore, eight hey, might be a little bit more comfortable. Now, overall shape and silhouette. The overall shape and silhouette. Um, if the craftsmanship and QC was on point, I think I would like the 24s overall better, but I kind of feel like the 18s, I got a perfect pair, man. My 18 pair is perfect as far as the craftsmanship and, 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 and the quality in QC goes. Like, yeah, my 18 pair was perfect, so, oh man. With the overall shape, at the toe in the elephant print, I like the 18 better. I mean, the, the elephant print is low profile going around the toe. And you got like more mud guard, more of that smooth, smooth leather going up on the toe. Versus the 18 is, is more elephant print, a little bit of the mud guard, then you get straight into the toe. I like the 18 better. I like the 18 toe box better. Now I'm fully aware that 24s may be closer to the OG in that aspect. I'm pretty sure that the 18s are closer to the 24 that in the in the overall shape and silhouette, which I like. I, I like them being closer to the OG with the shape and silhouette. But I mean, overall, I'm I'm kind of favoring the 18s myself. So that's why I say I understand it. Like if I would have missed out on these totally, my only gripe would be I just wish I had a ten and a half for that little bit of wiggle room and be comfortable. But I'm not getting rid of my 18s. My plan was to get these in and get rid of the 18s, but I can't do that now. I just can't. The 18s too cold, in my opinion. My personal opinion. I feel like the 18s are better, but y'all let me know what y'all think about that. You know what I'm saying? Um, I don't like those widow's peaks, man. You got two widow's peaks on the tongue of the shoe. You know what I'm saying? On the tongue and and right right at the bottom of the toe and craftsmanship. I don't know, man. They mine all wrinkled up and beat up like they went all fresh and. Yeah, I don't know, but we got the card. You still got the break, the, the the tech breakdown card. Nice touch, as always. I'm like, I love that they include that, and I wish they added that on all Jordan. So, if you don't got the 18, it's dope that they added this. So, you know what I'm saying? You're not missing nothing with the packaging, or or it, it's nothing pretty. You know, bells and whistles that came with the box that you're gonna miss from having the 18. To the 24 but it's, it's definitely a different shoe though and you can see with that toe those peaks on the toe oh my god the the uneven and low profile elephant print i don't like that um the 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 the, the, the 
heavily worn around the toe box look already. They look creased already, man. It's like somebody had somebody in a triple threat jab stepping already. Um, craftsmanship bad too. I got glue and scratches on the side. Like, yeah, they don't fresh out the box. They just don't feel fresh. It seems like after I clean them one time, they're gonna look better after I wear them and clean them. They're probably gonna, they could go for a cleaning right now. It's dirt all over the mud guard on that side. Like, dirt scratches whatever the case may be you know just fresh out the box outside of the new shoe smell they just don't wow me like that it ain't like oh my god yeah these these that oh my god i got them you know what i mean outside of the more og silhouette and shape that's that's just about all these got going for them in my opinion versus that 18 look at that 18 the 18 just fire bro the 18 fire my opinion you know what i'm saying but y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment box um yeah i i, I kind of understand why sneakerheads how they feel how they feel the day i was rocking the reimagined threes which are absolutely perfect oh my perfect they killed these i love the reimagined threes that's what i had on feet today let me know what y'all was rocking you know what i'm saying if, if y'all want to go pick up the threes today what you was rocking you know what i'm saying all that good stuff man and let me know how y'all feel do you do you like the 18s or the 24s um both iconic classic but i'm going with the 18s and i'm gonna catch y'all in the next video